Digital technologies are flexible and adaptable. You can use them in different contexts and for various purposes, for online learning and in a blended learning situation. For example, the latter means that you can combine face-to-face -face interaction in a classroom with social media technologies you use online. However, in your planning, you should consider blending a digital technology with a learning activity, so it makes up a practical organizing of some sorts. The question is, what type of social media did Inger use in her classes? Vlog was important. It is a common social media technology. In short, a blog is a web page used as an online diary. They center around a single person, but can also be used to cover topics and be the work of many persons. Blogs allow you to write posts, which can be commented on by other users. Researchers argue that uh, strength with blogs is how it can be used for reflection and hence writing skills. Today, there is a great variety of blogs. For example, we find educational blogs, video blogs, and blogs that are, has developed into social network sites. So, what was Inger's experience with the use of blogs? I, uh, I had two classes, one in English and one in, in Spanish. And the idea was that the first text would be very short and then the next one would be a little bit longer and then little by little in the, uh, in the learning process they could produce longer texts and then they could visually see how they pro uh, progressed when they were working uh, with the blogs. So just see how your uh, competence in the language grows was one of my aims with the blog. The use of blogs in Inger classes had a long-term goal. Inger's students were to blog throughout the entire school year, starting in August and ending in June the following year. Each student created a blog and published their tasks as blog posts. Instead of submitting the work in a student workbook or on a learning management system, the assignments were published on each student's blog. Blog was also used to enhance the student's writing skills so that they could perform reflective writing. The students were to become content producers of digital material. Inger wanted to teach them to engage and share their opinions so that they could become informed citizens. Inger used YouTube. It is a video sharing platform where users can up and download content. Now, it has developed into one of the most used social media platforms in the world. Then, how was YouTube used in Inger classes? So, YouTube is, um, is a way of uh, introducing uh, multi-modality in the classroom. Uh, in my foreign language classes, we, um, we use YouTube to, to learn language through songs. Inger's experience with YouTube is positive. YouTube videos were seldom made and published by the students. They were mainly used for searching and retrieving of digital content with the purpose of engaging the students into a learning activity. So uh, I've always got the most popular songs to present in my classroom, which is uh, interesting uh, from the, um, the point of view of the students. The, they like it. YouTube was used in different ways, like being part of a class discussion or to practice a foreign language. In other cases, she used it for introducing the students to a topic they were working on. Practically, they would watch a YouTube video for a couple of minutes. After that, Inge would ask the students what the video was about and how that related to what they were working on at the time. So, it means that YouTube videos are used to interpret a media text and or tries to set it in a larger cultural context in a dialogue between the teacher and the student.